We looked at graphing the solutions to a simple inequality statement. Now what we want to do is look at rewriting an inequality statement in interval notation. Interval notation will always consist of a lower bound and an upper bound. So a smallest and largest value. If our inequality symbol is a less than statement, or a greater than statement, then we'll use rounded parentheses on that end of the interval. If we have a less than or equal to or a greater than or equal to statement, then we would use square brackets on that end of the interval. So similar to using an open circle, when we have a strict inequality, we use rounded parentheses when we have that or equal to portion, we use square brackets. Looking back at example one, we had the inequality statement x is greater than negative four. That means the smallest value, the lower bound for our interval, would be negative four. We're using a rounded parenthesis because negative four is not a solution. That's why we use the open circle on the number line. And then our interval in this case will go to an upper bound of positive infinity because we could plug in any number larger than negative four and it would make this inequality statement true. Anytime we have an infinity symbol in our interval, interval notation, we're always going to use rounded parentheses. Looking at example two, we have x is less than or equal to five. That means our upper bound is going to be 5. That's the largest possible value. Since 5 is a solution, we use the filled in circle on the number line, and we're going to use the square bracket on our interval. Since any value less than 5 would be a solution to this inequality statement, our lower bound will be negative infinity. And again, we always use a rounded parenthesis whenever we have an infinity at one end of our interval. 